Hello, beautiful YouTubers. It's Tess. The first time in years. And we have a little Alessia by Gudrun Legler kit that I just painted. And of course, Lilia. I'm just going to change her into a different outfit. Thought I would kind of be like, hey, I'm still here and I just started painting again. <laughs> I think this is my. <coughs> second doll since I started painting again after two years, so not bad, not bad at all. <laughs> I figured out she looks really good in this earthy pink, which is honestly my favorite color right now too, so that's nice. She's also got mono-rooted hair. Which I do now. Honestly, I don't know why I waited so long really do rooted hair a lot. Actually, I do know why I waited so long, because I started with really crappy needles, and I just thought rooting was super hard, and then I got actually good needles. And you'll see just how good her hair is when I style it nice, but it does look incredibly realistic, even when it's messy. In fact, I kind of like messing up the little top of it. I might go back in and darken her eyebrows just because that's something that I really like to have in my dolls is dark eyebrows. I had dark eyebrows as a baby too, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. She is so cute. I also need to get some dewy texture because that's one thing I don't have. I forgot that I didn't have any more look alive thinning medium and it's really hard to find. But I've seen a couple people or a couple of the new paint companies doing a dewy texture. I want to get that for her nose a little bit. Oh, yeah, pink is definitely her color. <laughs> So sweet. Oh, I can't stop looking at her in the camera. Adorable. and the prairie theme song in my head. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be so cute. Absolutely precious. Gosh, that bed head. <laughs> Still so real, though. I do have this little coconut mist, this coconut oil mist that makes her hair smell amazing. I can't find it. Normally I wet her hair, style it, do the coconut mist, and um, this seems like a long process, but if I want her hair to be perfect, I do the water, and then I brush it into place, and I do the coconut mist just in like two spritzes. like one down here and one up here after it's dried just a little bit 
I kind of brush that in and then I'll put her I'll wrap her hair in plastic wrap and that just gets all the flyaways down and it looks so incredible after that as long as you don't put it or on like you know something super staticky after I've done that and I'm not like changing her or rubbing her head around you can really just smooth it down with your fingers and it stays so perfect But I've been trying her in a bunch of new outfits today because I just put her together. She has painted hair under the rooting, so I'm sort of following. It makes it easier, honestly, because I can sort of follow the pattern of the painted hair underneath. Swirl is the hardest part to figure out because I don't want to brush it down too hard. I think I won't make my swirls as tight next time I root because it's just, it's, it doesn't need to be too tight. Like you can have that little gap in the middle because as you brush it, wrapping it around does kind of tighten it up on its own. still looks really sweet. She's still in those early stages, like the first, probably the first month you have a freshly rooted doll. Maybe it's because my cutting skills aren't as good as most people, but I know the first month I normally have a doll, they kind of have that freshly cut look and it isn't until after that the hair starts to look a little bit more natural. As certain hairs just stretch gives it a little bit more realism and definition. Which way do we want this one to go? of this do I want to put down? <laughs> I kind of like her hair when it's sticking up just a little bit. Let's see. What do we think? And I'm a have a mohawk. <laughs> uh, once I find my coconut oil, I'm going to give it another little oil treatment so that it stays nice. So I think I'm going to move her to the glass cabinet I have downstairs in a storage room and just keep her nice. Because I really regret, 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 <laughs> wow, I can't speak. I really regret selling Evelyn because um, I think she was my best work. And the goal is to just not sell my best work again. <laughs> Maybe unless I have a doll to replace it. And right now it's this one. Probably call her Davany because she looks just like the other Davany that I had and I don't really have too much of an emotional attachment to that Davany. Other than, I have more of an emotional attachment to the name honestly. Because <laughs> um, I wrote a book when I was a kid with a character named Davany. Oh my gosh. So cute. So yeah, there she is. What now looking at that in the camera? I want this here. <laughs> I normally do this part when it dries. I'll like put that in the middle so there's not like a distinct straight part. And then just kind of tap the sides down. Everything 
flows really naturally though. Like I said, when it's dry, you can really just brush it down with your fingers. Yeah, that looks better. Oh my goodness, she's so cute. And she actually takes a cut pacifier. She does have a magnet, but she takes a cut on because her mouth is open just ever so slightly. So she can take one of these. And it doesn't fall unless you shake it. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't put it in very well. There we go. Now it shouldn't fall. Now we messed the hair up. <laughs> Honestly, all this rooting, and I think I really do prefer her in a little bow, especially this one. I don't know, it just looks cute on her. Maybe because she's got such a tiny head. <laughs> there we go. And there's my girls. 